alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of the home court, the ground baller, Sanders. His opponents in the blue corner, please welcome James Lights Out Tony. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. Well, we told you it could be this kind of fight, and as advertised thus far. Not able to land the headshot. Defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Nice counter by Tony. Each man able to land an uppercut. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. He goes down from the uppercut. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Halfway through this round here. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Sanders committed to that counter punching very early on here in this fight, and that can pay off as the night continues. Well, it's paying off right now because you see that his opponent now is getting a little worried about letting his hands go because every time he does, he doesn't find anything and he finds something coming back at him. James Tony with a nice counter punch. Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned, and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway, and you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got to hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. James Tony's not giving us what we're used to out of him here, Teddy. Now, he was knocked down earlier, but this is not the way he normally goes about things in a situation like this. You know, you have to be like one of those high-wire walkers where you're going across, you know, buildings. You have to do a balancing act. In one hand, you have to remember why you were dropped so you can correct it. It doesn't happen again. But on the other hand, 
you have to balance that with forgetting. Forgetting that you are on the floor so it does not stop your concentration and your offense going forward. James Tony with a nice counter punch. Good return fire that time. Carries that punch intended for the head. Nice counter by Tony. Halfway through round number two. Teddy, do you think the sport needs a national or international governing body? Yeah, it's the only major sport, at least it used to be a major sport, that doesn't have that. And there's no unilateral control. And when there's no unilateral control across the board, well, you have too many spots, spots that are weak for the sport, spots that do not serve the sport. Neither man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Nice counter by Tony. What a chin. And can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? Wow! Sanders is hit by that counter. James Tony is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. James Tony's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it can get nasty as the fight progresses. Nice strike after catching one by the Brown Bomber. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by James Tony. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. He needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. James Tony's just not landing any body punches in this fight. Well, he looks like a guy who hasn't been taught that. We're getting a little bit of an x-ray, a little bit of a peek into what his trainers show him in the gym or what they don't show him. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. James Tony's just making some room for himself here. He missed that uppercut. Lights out, Tony's in a bad place busy, right guys. now. Come he on, was now. Keep busy. Nice counter by Tony. James Tony's proving to be elusive. Able to counter that attack. Sanders fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. Oh, what an exchange! Good counter punch. A barrage of punches that time. Good combination. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want one at a time. You want three or four. And you see he turns defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss. He makes you pay. 
And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Very nice defensive guard there. Good looking counter punch. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counter punch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited. He can pick him off a little bit. Locks away that head shot. James Tony with a block punch there. James Tony's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Wow, is he defensively sound? James Tony with a nice counter punch. He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nice block. Barrage of punches now. Sanders doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. Lands the counter. the midsection. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by James Tony. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Sanders has got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. And there he counters back against his opponent. Sanders' opponent is saying to himself, I can't believe this. Every time this guy throws, it seems like he lands. He's very judicious with his work. Yeah, and that's not by accident. You know, that's his temperament. He has that kind of temperament. If you went out with the guy, you talk to the guy, you know, he thinks before he says things. He doesn't just, you know, let his mouth go. He doesn't just let his hands go. He lets him go when he thinks he should. got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it can get nasty as the fight progresses. I don't know how they are keeping this up. Holy! Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Nine, ten, and it's over! 
This fight is, is over. over. Sanders is going to be partying tonight. A knockout victory. It doesn't get better than that. Your winner. Sanders, your winner by knockout, Teddy. Well, we came in wondering whether or not his opponent had a good chin. We found out. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.